Okay, do I look a little bit like a floating head? I feel like maybe. But my chair is low. I could just sit on my feet. Maybe this is a little bit better. Hello? I think it's gonna take me so long to get used to looking at the camera lens because I keep wanting to see what I look like. Maybe if I just, yeah. Um, once I start talking, I feel like maybe it'll be better. Hello from Canada. I, today, I wanted to talk about some of my favorite products, but I actually just realized I forgot to get them. So I will do that and be right back. Okay, I'm back. So um, I'm doing body products or like face, skin and body, like skin products, whole body skin products today. And I don't know where to start. I have them like all laid out right here. I feel like, okay, I'm gonna start with face and then kind of do it in the order one would use them. So to begin, um, I feel like I've been into skincare for actually a number of years now and then over the years it got more and more into clean skincare as I got more into kind of like, well, health and nutrition and earth health and um, holistic health and wellness. Uh, especially since I'm a, a certified nutritional practitioner, holistic nutritionist, health coach. Um, and so I'm very cognizant of like everything I put on my skin and body. Um, and I think it's so important. And it's actually kind of fun. It's like, it's a little bit more limiting, but then once you get into the clean skincare and clean beauty industry, you realize there's actually like so much and I often feel overwhelmed and I'm always excited to try new products and, um, dive into the benefits of all the different ingredients. So to begin, I will start with um, this Josh Rosebrook Daily Acid Toner. It would be similar to like the, um, well, it's something you would, you could put on, you put on after you wash your face before putting on any like serums or anything. It's similar to the Biologique Recherche P50, which I've used before, but this is just kind of like a cleaner alternative. I like it. It's great. Um, and people will often put this on like a cotton pad. I have reusable cotton pads, but I actually prefer to just put this like in my palm and then just like pat it all over my face. So that's product number one. I love this. I will often repurchase it um, and it's kind of like a step one. After that, okay, this one is like low key, not as clean as some of the others, but I really wanted to try it because it's like a newer technology. And I know some clean beauty people and some kind of like cleaner um, shops that do sell it. So I feel like it's a, it's kind of like an in-between. And it's the Dr. Dennis Gross 15% Vitamin C Firm and Bright Serum. The reason I bought it is because it's apparently the first vitamin C with lactic acid, and that's supposed to be transformational for the skin. For brightening, you can use this in the morning and in the evening as well. Typically, a vitamin C, though, is like a morning serum, and a good way to remember this is vitamin C is like or someone was saying like, it's like orange juice, like oranges have vitamin C and you have orange juice in the morning. I mean, you shouldn't because of the sugar content, but like, if you think about it that way, that is how you remember to use vitamin C in the morning. So I got this one to try it out recently. Um, and I mean, vitamin C is, I don't know how many ingredients are in here, but I feel like it's, it's I mean, technically it's like a cruelty for you vegan um product dr dennis gross is i've found i've used to use his products a lot when i didn't care as much about clean beauty um like those those wipes those like uh ha b ha like step one step two wipes um but i was listening to a podcast recently and they were talking about this he was actually on the podcast and i was like okay i'm gonna try it but 
maybe I'll find an alternative after. I also do love to kind of like rotate through skincare brands. So like maybe I'll try this and then I'll never buy it again. And I'll just have like um, other vitamin C's from cleaner brands. So this one I am using right now um, and I actually really like it. I was traveling for two and a half months and I feel like that always does a number on your skin. So I'm happy to be kind of like spending more time on my skin right now in an effort to kind of like rebalance and brighten and revitalize it. Okay, so this one, this next one is um, actually should have been shared before, but it's, it's a product I use in the evening or if I'm washing my face. Um, so it's the Ro Rose Cleansing Bar. So it's like a face, it's a face cleanser and I was sent like um, the pink one, the orange one, I forget the scent of it. Uh, almost a year ago, I think. I literally was obsessed with it because it feels like it does such a good job cleaning the face, but also removing any makeup. I don't wear makeup a lot, but when I was using, or when I did and when I have, and I used this, I felt like I technically probably only needed to use it once to get all my makeup and everything off. I would, al I would always double or triple cleanse with different cleansers, but the bar I had was just like so amazing. The scent was lovely. It's a clean brand. Um, I think they ship from Spain, but I love that pink one so much that I actually just ordered three new ones. I got, um, they have four different types. They have like a pink, a green clay one, this charcoal one, and then like a white one that's for sensitive skin. I got the charcoal, the green clay, and then the pink one again. Um, just because I kind of wanted to try them all. And honestly, they last so long and it smells nice. So this is my new kind of cleansing bar. I haven't used it yet, but it just came in. And the pink one, I know I love so much. So that actually would be like a step one. For me, I do not um, wash my face with soap in the morning. And I've been not washing my face with soap in the morning for a very long time um, because it strips your face and it just doesn't eat it. And I've never had any issues in skipping that morning kind of like wash. What I do do is I splash freezing cold water on my skin. It That is really good for um, resetting kind of like the vagus ner nerve. And it's just a great way to wake up. So I do that. I go to the washroom, scrape my tongue, splash my face with water, and then do all my other stuff, do my skincare. And then when I do wash my face, it's always in the evening. I do it in the shower um, before bed or just in the evening. Or I mean, like, as I mentioned, if I need to take makeup off or wash it at a different time, but that's um, a cleanser that I love. So I wanted to share that rose product. Okay, next we're gonna do serums. Uh, or I guess, I mean, this is called a serum, but it's like a face oil. So the Vintner's Daughter, um, active botanical serum. Vintner's Daughter has two products. It's the serum and the essence. And I first bought this product, I think over five years ago and was obsessed with the scent and just um, the feeling and the results and the kind of like glow. And I didn't repurchase it for a while. And then a few months ago, I was at a shop that was selling this and the essence in a little kit and I actually bought both. I was using them together and I remember at the time I was like, oh my gosh, every time I use it, my skin is just glowing. Like this is a magical product. Um, since then I've, I've run out of the essence and then I've just been using the serum and I absolutely love it. I find it divine. I always use like an oil or serum product for kind of like hydration. Um, and this one, I think I will continue to repurchase going forward just because I remembered how much I love the product. So that one, I highly recommend it's a splurge, but even if you don't think you're going to like continuously purchase it, I recommend just trying it because it's kind of like a cult type product product and get it for yourself for like your birthday or Christmas or on the very rare occasion you can get it on sale. I think the brand has some sort of policy because on a lot of clean beauty sites when there's like a site wide sale, this product is um, not on sale. Um, but yeah, so I do want to talk about that or share that because it's a it's one to try if you haven't. 
Um, okay, next oil is this Airbar face oil. It's such a fun containing and container and their branding is amazing. Um, I actually went to an event with them in Lisbon. It's a Berlin and Lisbon based um, skin care, face care brand. It has hemp oil, bakuchiol, tremella, reishi, dazao, rosehip, and vitamin E. Pardon me if I pronounce some of those wrong, but it's a super fun brand. I love the girls who created it. Um, it's a little bit of a kind of like East meets West brand, I guess I would say. And I love that it's um, formulated with hemp oil at the base because hemp oil is technically like a regenerative oil. Hemp um, regenerates the soil, which is super cool. So whenever I find hemp clothing or hemp based products, I get really excited because I feel like I'm giving back a little bit and supporting that way. Um, it's just a great oil for kind of like last step, sealing everything in and um, I highly recommend this is a good one for right now. Classic oil. Okay, other things I'm loving. Um, this is All Balm by Zizia Botanicals. I was just about to put it on. <laughs> um, where did I get it? Oh, I think I got it in Sunya Link in Vancouver ordered it online. It's just like a great um, all-purpose balm. I've been putting on my lips because it's so incredibly dry where I am right now. Um, but this one, it's like a good classic one. Lip, face, and body moisturizer. I'll put on my cuticles too because they're always cracking. Um, but I like this and I like the brand Sizzy as a clean brand. They're cool, I think, from the States. Um, <clears throat> on that, in that vein, we have Egyptian magic because this is just like a classic. I always have a jar and usually I have the big jar. It is very simple. It's very simple ingredients. It's um, It's got things like bee pollen, royal jelly, oh, olive oil, beeswax, honey, bee pollen, propolis, and royal jelly. So it's kind of like a bee type olive oily product. It's, I love to be kind of like oily and hydrated. I love oils. I love this. I was even using this on my legs in Lisbon when I ran out of everything else because I was traveling. Um, but usually I will put on my face as a last step. It would be like an alternative to the oil, um, kind of to seal everything in. And bee properties are Pretty magical so I feel like it's I always feel like I'm doing good and I like that one and it's never made me break out or anything um it's a great hydrating oil next one that I like almost always have is the Waleda baby nourishing body cream I love it's like a calendula scent very lightweight I always use it for hands and then also I will use it on my face as a cream if I want a cream and I don't have one with me or whatever so that's just like a classic I've been buying this one for years and it's great I like that it comes in the tin not a plastic container but a lot of their products over the years have been converted to plastic um, which is a bit disappointing but I've been able to find this in tin going for or like recently or since the conversion, this product, I've still been able to find a tin, but I'll sometimes like look or open boxes to see what the format is inside of it. Okay. Oh, how could I forget? Um, this is Living Libations Sundew Face Cream. It's my favorite. I think Living Libations Cream, honestly, they're all amazing. Um, I've used the Rose Glow as well. I think the, this one and the Rose Glow are the main ones. They also have a... Um, men's line it smells divine it has vitamin d in the cream it's the name sundew um i love it i love the scent it's a it's like a cream as an alternative to an oil so sometimes i'll put this on first and then do an oil or if i don't want to be like so shiny and greasy looking because i often am and like as soon as i do my skincare maybe i'm going out to do something however sometimes oil is cool for that too but i will use this so this is kind of like my go-to cream 
formula skincare. This I would put on before putting on some of my oils. Um, I feel like I'm constantly like doing different combinations of things. Um, but that's an amazing cream living libations is probably like if I could choose one skincare brand to buy for the rest of my life and I could only buy from that line, it would probably be living libations. Um, okay, now, oh, okay, this is another face one. So this is the sunscreen I've been using. It's the Suntegrity 5-in-1 Tinted Sunscreen Moisturizer. I wear SPF every day, non-negotiable, just for aging, like longevity, um, skin health, wrinkles, all that. I've definitely gone through phases where I've been like, screw SPF, the sun is amazing. But right now what I'm doing is if I'm ever getting sun without SPF, it would be like sunrise or sunset because that's really good for regulating body clock and circadian rhythms for the for the eyes and then I mean it's good for the skin but just in being cognizant of aging and all that I do always wear SPF um yeah so this one is tinted I find that with like SPF sunscreens like face sunscreens if they're white it makes me look really pale and I'm very cautious about my face looking pale it makes me feel kind of like sickly <laughs> um, and I hate that. So I always, always, always have a tinted face SPF. This one I really like. I've used a bunch of other brands in the past, um, but this is my favorite. I get it in Golden Light, which is a lovely name for a SPF color, or like a tint name. And it's zinc oxide based, which is super important for SPFs. Um, and then last product <laughs> is my Kozas brow gel. I am, I have become obsessed with this. I buy this brow gel in the clear and then I used to have it in like a different blonde color. But since going brunette, I was feeling like I needed to kind of like make my eyes, eyebrows a bit darker or stand out a bit more. Um, and so I bought this color, it's called Soft Brown and I'm really obsessed with it. I think I'm gonna continue to buy this even when I go back to blonde in a few months. I'm pretty sure I will, um, but I will still continue to buy this because I feel like it gives them a better shape than the lighter color did, and it's a good tone for me. Um, but I do like the Kozas ones. That's like a clean, cleaner brand. That's all for. That's not all for skin. The next one, I feel like a lot of like Canadians and I think Americans too, are into this. I feel like I see it all over Instagram and like all the cleaner or like health health or like health and wellness girls are using it but it's the salty face tanning water um the way i like to use it is with the spritz top because there's different formats that you can order but i get it with the or i put on the spritz top i think the other option is a dropper um i like it the spritz top and then i spray it on my face and then i just kind of like move it around with the brush that it comes with um there's also a dropper that i think you would mix into a moisturizer never used it that way because this way works well for me I don't actually think I have it on my face right now, um, but I would have like in the past week applied it and I think you can use it on your body too. I just um, use tanner on my face though. Okay, the next one is like a product for this part of the body, so I'll I feel like it's a natural transition <laughs> from all the face. And it's the Living Libations Happy Gum Drops CoQ10 Oil Swishing Serum. I don't know if you've heard of oil pulling, but oil pulling is basically like putting a spoonful of coconut oil in your mouth first thing in the morning. Um, it helps to remove, you would do it like tongue scrape, coconut oil pull or oil pull. It removes toxins and you swish it around for like 20 minutes and then you spit it. It's also really good for teeth whitening. Um, I got into this like, I feel like almost 10 years ago and I used to do it like religiously and then I kind of fell off for a while. And then recently my best friend was using this and she was like really enjoying it. And I love living libations and they actually, one of their main focuses way, like when they started was oral health. Um, so I trust them or her, Nadine, the woman who started it, but like they're amazing for everything which is like everything, but like especially, but as well oral health. Um, and so I love this, the like, it's almost like a mouthwash. Like, so technically you should use it, I guess like more or less first thing in the morning, but often I'll use it, um, like I'll do my tongue scrape, I'll do all my morning stuff. And then like after, after I've eaten, like before, or maybe it's, 
not after I've eaten, but like if I'm gonna go on a walk, I'll put it in my mouth right before I leave the house to go on my walk and then I'll swish it around for like 15 minutes and then I'll spit it into the earth somewhere. <laughs> um, but otherwise, if I was that toy, I would spit it in the toilet or the garbage. Um, but toilet is, you know, toilet is where I would spit it. Um, and it's like very fr like refreshing. It's got this like fresh, but like natural flavor, like nothing like an, a traditional mouthwash, of course. And it's really good for, yeah, teeth whitening. And I like the kind of like um, ritual of doing it. And not only teeth whitening, but also just like gum health, oral health, all the uh, like essential oils and ingredients are amazing for that. So I love that product. Highly recommend just trying that out or trying out just like organic extra virgin coconut oil swishing in your mouth. Um, it's cool. I feel like my mouth feels healthier when I do it like cleaner, healthier, um, like whiter, just like it's a, it's a nice ritual. Next one is deodorant. I used to buy the Aja Nature, like that, the black deodorant, the men's one. It was a bit of a more masculine scent. Um, but on my, when I was in Europe, they had this at a store and I needed a new deodorant. So I tried this. This is the number three holy stick is what it's called. So I tried this one and it's, it's good. It, I feel like it works pretty well compared to like natural deodorants are, they're a funny thing. I often feel like they don't work or they kind of like irritate my armpits, but this one I've been good with and I might repurchase, but I would probably actually get that, um, the black more masculine scent. Again, if I were to, if I do repurchase or if I come buy it at a shop, I might just restock on that one. Okay, next is body. Okay, so this is the Carta Oset Golden Hour Pumpkin and Hemp Seed Body Oil. Again, the hemp in it, regenerative oil. We love that. Um, this one, I love, I love body oils as opposed to body like lotions. Um, I just like the way they absorb like a dry oil, feels really like nice and luxurious and they go on very smoothly. Whereas with like lotions, I feel like I have to like rub it in and it's, sometimes it's like white or like it leaves a weird residue. And I feel like oils are more consistently like a good blend. Um, so this one I really like, it's a very subtle scent. Um, but I've been putting this on after my evening shower before getting into bed every night and it's been great. And last to share is the Everybody Loves the Sunshine Golden Golden Tanning Oil by Living Libations. And this is the refill for this. So I'm so obsessed with this product and the scent of this product that I buy the refill and I put it in the smaller container. This is, I don't know, is this 50 mLs? Um, but okay, so I use this more in the summer and I use it right before going outside in the sun and then also will use it after I come in from the sun because that's how it was formulated to be used. Um, it helps to deepen the, the glow, but also it helps to, oh, it also, so helps to deepen the glow, but in a healthy way or deepen your like brown, browning. <laughs> um, but it's protective of the skin and there was like testing done where someone wore this and went out and instead of getting like slightly burnt or like red they like got that more like brown color so it almost like protected against burning with the um with the based on the ingredients that are in the product um i don't know all the background about that but it makes sense because i know that like for example coconut oil and a lot of i think naturally occurring or like seed and fruit oils um, are not have a natural percentage of SPF in them. So I think it was like that SPF um, helped helps to kind of like protect so there's no burning, but then the ingredients are supposed to kind of like work synergistically with the sun to give you a nice glow. Um, but if you ever even are just like in a shop and you see this product, smell it. It's a very unique scent. And the first time I smelled it, I remember being like, oh, I don't know if I love that. But after I um, used it for a while, I became obsessed. And now I'm like, this is my scent. This is my summer oil. Might even use it in the winter time because I just ordered this and it's December. Um, but I love this. So that's my favorite body oil of the moment. And that's kind of like, 
my favorite product lineup based on what I have in the house right now. It changes a little bit, but a lot of these do stay the same. Um, and I'm so passionate about this subject, like clean beauty and like products that work and products that support like glowing and hydration and oil um, and looking and feeling our best. So I wanted to share because I feel like this is like something that's very close to my heart and something that I spend a lot of time researching and testing out and finding ones that work really well for me and that I love so much. And I hope you guys try out some of these products. And also if you do, or if you use any of these, let me know. Or if you have fun recommendations that are clean, also share those. Thanks so much.